Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Today is Monday, July 15th, 2019. My name is Jeremy, and this is my first cup of coffee. Now, as I mentioned on Friday, this is a pre-recorded episode. I am going to be away tomorrow morning, headed out this evening. Well, I'm recording this Sunday morning. Okay, so it's still, this is still, this is my first cup of coffee. I'll admit I had some, but it's still my first cup of coffee. But I will be meeting up with Master Brandon Goodall, who's been on Martial Arts Radio a number of times, uh, also known as my best friend. And we're headed to a concert in New Hampshire, um, which is uh, a gift for my birthday. So pretty stoked for it. Uh, we'll be seeing Snoop Dogg, which... I mean, who doesn't like Snoop? It'd be great. Um, what else? What else is going on? So this weekend, it, the weather's been great. Spent some time outside, dealing with plants, purging more of my home, just just getting getting rid of stuff, getting rid of stuff, trying to simplify. And I've even spent a little bit of time training, spent some time working on some kicks yesterday, which felt great. Um... Let's see, what else? Oh, you may notice, swapped out my nose ring. I'm trying it. Not sure how I feel about it, but figured we'd, we'd give it a shot, see what the response was. Got to mix it up once in a while. So there are no questions for me to answer. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about... Oh, I need a subject. We're going to talk about... How about, how about we talk about ways to train when you have very little time, like, like just small blocks. Now, for those of you that, that don't know, we have training.whistlekick.com and the Two Minute Martial Arts Program, which uh, I am collaborating on with Sensei Justin Sweeney, and we're, we're slowly working on that. And uh, by the way, my, my condolences to Sensei Justin and his family, they, uh, they lost one of their one of their pets, they lost their dog recently. So I, I know how hard that, that can be. But regardless, we've got that program and that program is doing really well. People are finding it, they're enjoying it. It's based around the idea that you can get a lot done in two minutes a day. So we put together this, and by we I mean Justin, put together this programming, this, you know, okay, for two minutes work on this and this, because we can all find two minutes a day. But let's say you're stuck in a line. Or let's say you're waiting for, you know, the microwave to beep. And you've got, you know, 30 seconds or 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds. You know, just enough time that what would you normally do? You'd pull out your phone and you'd check your email or something. You'd check Facebook. What can you do with that time instead from a martial arts perspective? There's a lot you can do. You could practice standing on one foot. Not just to stand on one foot, but balance is critical in martial arts. If that becomes too simple, you can practice standing on your toes on one foot. You can practice your joint manipulations. We've talked about this on a number of shows, the idea that keeping your joints healthy is absolutely critical in martial arts. What keeps joints healthy? Movement and pressure. So to move them, right? Um, you can practice stretching. You can practice Kicking really slow. If you're in the kitchen, grab the counter, pick that foot up, drive a kick out nice and slowly, bring it back. If you sprinkle martial arts through your day, it adds up. It adds up to be quite a bit. Part of the reason I have a stand-up heavy bag over there, a wave bag, is because it's right in the middle of my house. I can practice, I can kick, I can hit it when I walk by. And do I use it all the time? No. Do I use it every day? No. But it's there and I use it somewhat. And it has made an impact on some of the things that I'm practicing with regards to my kicking, some of my combinations that I've been playing with. And it has allowed me to, you know, the number one thing that I've, I've used it for is practicing getting my, my distance right on, on a jab. Okay. So many of you know, I practice kickboxing uh, under, under Superfoot and, and, his student, Master Terry Dow, shout out to Terry, 
He's a great friend. And one of the things that has been a challenge for me is the idea that you have to lean into this jab, right? It's not just from a, from a squared up, yeah, that's kind of fun, uh, a squared up stance as I grew up with in karate. You, you've got to lean, you've got to cover some distance. Well, that's really tough when you've got decades of doing it the other way. So to have that bag right there and to just practice a few here and there has really made a difference. And it's a difference that um, that others have noticed and said, hey, good job, we're working on that. So that's really, that's what, I think if you have, if you're, if you're gonna live a martial arts lifestyle, that requires finding ways to incorporate martial arts into your day. And I'm even more conscious of this because as I've admitted freely, I don't attend classes as much as I'd like to. I went to Kempo on Friday, yeah, I did some great stuff, worked on some, some stand-up jiu-jitsu work that you know, I, I always enjoy. But that was my first time at that class in two months because I've been traveling and Friday night classes don't, don't work well for my schedule. So you, you got to find ways to get the value out of your day. If you value martial arts, find ways to make martial arts happen. And it doesn't have to be a class and it doesn't have to be big blocks of time. You can get better in small blocks or at the very least stave off the degradation of your skills. So, yeah. So your homework, as simple as it is, is to do something today. Do something on your own, martial arts wise. Experiment. How can you make martial arts part of your day? And if you get embarrassed easily, that's fine. There are plenty of ways you can do this on your own. When no one's watching. <sighs> Clearly, I need more coffee. So we're going to leave it there. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace.